Hi everyone, um, welcome to another video tutorial and uh, today we're looking at how to find the volume of a cylinder and uh, the grade for this topic goes from C all the way up to a B. Alright, so without any further ado, can we let's take a look at a cylinder. First of all, we need to define what a cylinder is. Now, a cylinder is basically the shape and um, what you need to understand uh, is that it's got two <coughs> Two sides that are important: the cro uh, the cross section, which is this part there, and uh, that looks like a circle, as you can see. And we've got the cross sectional length. Okay, so that's the length, yeah, um, of the cylinder. Okay, so we're going to call that L. And uh, this um, cylinder, the, the 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 cross section, uh, because it's a circle. Uh, we can also say that it's got a radius, yeah? So the radius is the length from the center of the circle to its circumference, and we're going to call this R. And the formula that you need to remember for working out the volume of a cylinder is quite simple. It's pi, which is a constant, times R squared, so you have to multiply R by itself twice, and times H. And just as a note, you should know that pi is equal to 3.142 if you wanted your answer to be given as a number rather than in terms of pi. And uh, let's take a look at one example. And uh, basically the example that I want to show you is work at the, uh, the volume of a cylinder uh, with a radius of um, 6 centimeters and a height of 12 centimeters uh, and I want to give the answer in terms of pi so I'm not going to use 3.142 I'm going to leave the answer in terms of pi so I'm going to leave it as pi there so I'm going to <coughs> excuse me um, start by writing the formula always start by writing the formula so v is equal to pi times r squared times h. So I'm going to say that v is equal to pi times r which is 6, so I'm going to write 6 squared and h which is equal to 12. And now it's just a matter of doing the sums. 6 squared is equal to 36 times 12, so that's 36 times 12 times the pi and I've just put the pi towards the end, okay, just to make uh, my life easier. If you don't have a calculator, 36 times, 36 times 12 can be done by doing 36 times 10, which is 360, because we multiply by 12. It's the same thing as multiplying by 10 and then by 2. So 36 times 2, which is 72. And if you add that all together, so that gives me 2 plus 0 is 2, 7 plus 6 is equal to 13, carry the 1, and 3 plus 1 is equal to 4, so 432, so the volume is equal to 432 pi. Now, the last thing you need to remember is uh, the, the unit, okay, so the unit is going to be centimeter cubed, yeah? So, the answer to this problem is that the volume is equal to 432 pi centimeter cubed. Okay? Now, let's take a look at Now, if the question said to me that I wanted to uh, find the volume uh, just as a number, then I would have to change the pi into 3.142, yeah? So V would be equal to 432 times 3.142. And um, that you can't do it by head, so take a calculator. So let me just get my calculator quickly. Uh, where is the calculator gone? All right, never mind. Let me just use my desktop calculator. So we're going to do 3. 0.142 and then we need to multiply this by 400 and 432 
times 432 and that gives me 1357.344 so 1357.344 and if the question says to you round your answer to three significant figure and that becomes 1360 centimeters cubed if you don't know how to round numbers to significant figures then you're gonna have to look up for another video tutorial on, on rounding numbers okay I don't want to go too much into into rounding numbers <clears throat> okay so that's pretty much how you find the uh, the volume of a cylinder just an easy formula that you have to run by yeah so this is the formula and uh, just uh, it's just a matter of substituting the correct value for R and for H into the formula and um, and uh, figuring out the uh, the answer yeah all right now um, I want to take a look at another question which is uh, slightly more difficult and um, it's basically when you have a cylinder and um, and you've got inside the cylinder you've got like a hollow shape. I'm gonna try to draw that um, as accurately as I can. Uh, let me just um, try to paste this shape first. And um, the scenario that I have is basically I've got a I've got a cylinder, and um, <coughs> within the cylinder I've got. Around the cylinder inside, okay, and basically it's a hollow, yeah. So that just goes right through, yeah. So hopefully, it's like uh, something like that, yeah. So all of this inside, okay, it's empty space, yeah, and uh, the question. Uh, that I need to figure out is I need to figure out the uh, the volume of um, the space inside. Okay, so how do I do this? Now there's a couple of uh, pieces of information that you have, though, um, and the information that we have is that the length from here to here, so the diameter of the cylinder is seven point eight. Now we also know that the distance from from there to there is um, 6.2 and all the units are in centimeters <coughs> and we also know the length from here to here so in other words the height is equal to 6.5 yeah <coughs> so how can we figure out the, um, the volume of um, the whole space inside? So first of all, V is equal to pi R squared times H. Now in our case, what we need to do is figure out the, the radius. Now the radius is half the diameter, and we know the diameter of the whole space here is 6.2. So 6.2 divided by 2 is 3.1, so the radius is r is equal to 3.1 and h is equal to 6.5 so now what I have to do is just sub in those numbers into my formula and I can say that v is equal to pi times 3.1 squared times 6.5 and if I just take my calculator um, I get 3.1 squared times um, 6.5 so let's take the uh, calculator so 3.1 times 3.1 times 6.5 that gives me 62.465 so 62.465 pi and the unit is going to be centimeter cubed I'm going to leave the answer in terms of pi, but if you want to figure out the numerical answer, then multiply 62.42, 62.465 by 3.142, and that will give you the answer. Okay. But just to save me the hassle, I'm just going to leave it in terms of pi. Yeah. And um, and that's pretty much it. So um, 
that's a that's a big great question yeah so if you can do that then uh, you're okay with uh, finding the volume of a cylinder all right now if you have any questions uh, leave me your comments uh, in the comment box below and uh, if you need to download some past papers then you can always come and visit my blog and uh, download past papers for free there and um, you know if you found the uh, the video useful can you make sure you you can you please make sure you send this video to your friends and uh, and share with anyone that you know. All right, take care, guys. Bye.